Look, we've, we've seen these relationships go bad. How do you recover from it? I mean, that was a pretty dramatic moment, and then we had to all get over it because we still have an obligation to catch this crowd. But it was it was painful. Yeah, wasn't you, the, you need yeah. to take. It wasn't a piece of humble pie. It was a whole pie. It was I a pie. To eat, yeah. In two years, I spent more time with him than I spent with my entire family, and our boat family is somewhat dysfunctional. Yeah. But we still got to do the job, you know. Motivate, not alienate. Yeah, that was our um, saying all year, and yeah. I, I kind of failed. And we started that before we even started fishing. We had that conversation, and just so everybody knows, that's not how you ever, ever talk to a captain. That was completely inappropriate. How'd your crew respond? I mean, is it all forgive and forget? Um, well, I'm sure it's not forget, but hopefully I forgive. I apologize for that, and I apologize for my attitude that whole season because I was completely inappropriate all year. Just I was tired, burnt out, and just not fair for the crew. And it's just tough on a boat. Plus, you know, six guys living in close quarters. Right? At the end of the day, though, you got to remember, if you're one of the head guys, if you're the deck boss, if that attitude gets out of control, now people aren't thinking just about fishing and safety. They're thinking about other things. Yeah, it's, it's on a personal level. Creeping head. It's on a personal and now level that, and now that yes. is creating a more hazardous work environment. You mean like I was thinking about my shotgun? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs>